What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another historic rebuild. You guys loved the 2016 Lakers rebuild that we did on Thursday of last week. And today we are going to be doing one of the worst teams of the 2010s. We are going to be rebuilding the 12 and 70 New Jersey Nets from 2010. So a decade ago, the Nets were kind of tanking for a specific player from Kentucky, a point guard named John Wall. But they did and not get lucky with the lottery. They dropped from the number one odds to number three where they ended up taking Derek Favors. But we are going to be doing this and trying to get, I think, John Wall on this team. So that is going to be the 2010 draft class that is going to be coming up. But looking at the team here, Brooke Lopez, 21 years old. He uh, is from the 2008 class. And he's going to be a very solid player for us. He's 21. He's 80 overall. Also, shout out to Thunder Shaq, the creator of this roster. I will leave a link to his Twitter in the description below. He's made some great rosters and some great mods on PC if you want to check him out. Because all the contracts, age, overalls, jerseys, uh, logos, team, uh, or players on the teams, they're all right. So it's a great roster. Uh, Devin Harris, we have Chris Humphreys, CDR, remember him. Courtney Lee, he was on the Nets uh, back then on the New Jersey Nets. Keon Dueling, Jarvis Hayes, Terrence Williams, he was a high flyer. Bobby Simmons, Tony Batty, Trenton Hassel, Yi Yalen, Josh Boone, Chris, and Chris Quinn. So that is the team. This team ended up going 12 and 70 in real life. Uh, this roster is great if you want to check it out. Um, and I, I do like it a lot. So yeah, we're going to be simulating through the season. I don't mind potentially getting worse here. The top players in the NBA at this time. Um, look at Dirk's flow. It's it's cool to see. Um, but yeah, so you can also like download mod and you can get like the right player faces as well. But do I want to move Devin Harris? Maybe try to get a little bit worse. He's 26 though, so I don't know if I want to give up on him. But Chris Humphreys making all that money. I don't know. I feel like I don't really need to trade anyone to get like any worse because we're just really bad as it is. So I'll probably trade Chris Humphreys uh, on draft night. So this is going to be the rotation for season one. It's bad. It's really bad. So yeah, we're going to have to build through the draft. We'll see if the New Jersey Nets can sign anyone. Our preseason power ranking, I'm hoping it's very low. And it is, okay, not as low as I thought. It's 23. We'll see how we do. And I'll see you guys at the end of the 2009 and 2010 season. So this Nets team goes 30 and 52 at the end of the 2010 season. LeBron wins MVP. This would be his last year in Cleveland or his second to last year, excuse me. Actually, no, I do think this was his last year. And then he opted out of a player option. Uh, Brandon Jennings, rookie of the year. Wait, no, this would be the 2010 offseason. Didn't LeBron leave? Yeah, no, no, he did leave in the 2010 offseason. Brandon Jennings is your rookie of the year. Uh, Lamar Odom, sixth man of the year for the Lakers. LeBron, defensive player of the year. He averaged 27, 8, and 12, and two steals on a block, and average up 42 from three. Sheesh. Tyreek Evans wins most improved, and Phil Jackson of, wow, I guess he got the uh, coaches right, of the New York, or not the New York Knicks, the LA Lakers wins coach of the year. That's dope. Here is All-NBA first team, Dwayne Wade, Tyreek Evans, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Dwight Howard. All-NBA second team, you got Derek Rose, Jameer Nelson, Melo, Dirk, and Chris Kamen. All right. And then all the third team, you got Rondo, Duran, or Duran Williams, Pau Gasol, Gerald Wallace, and Tim Duncan. So yeah, we didn't make the playoffs, obviously. We are going to have, let's see what pick going into the lottery. Three, four, five. We'll have five or six. I think we'll have six going into the lottery. Maybe even seven. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try to trade up to get John Wall. Don't worry. Or Paul George. Or maybe not DeMarcus Cousins since we have Brooke Lopez. Here are the stats. Brooke Lopez was very good. Uh, 22.7 points per game. 6.3 rebounds. 2.5 blocks. 53 from the field. He wasn't like a 3-point shooter back then. And he wasn't a great rebounder whatsoever either. Shot 91% from the line though. Devin Harris wasn't bad. And maybe he could be a point guard for us. Uh, maybe a backup point guard. He averaged 18 points. 7 assists. A steal and a half a game. And shot 30. 37 from three. Jarvis Hayes, CDR, uh, Terrence Williams. Like, I don't know who's going to be an important player for us down the line. Maybe Courtney Lee, 38% from three, and I'm sure he's still a solid defender. Chris Humphreys, I mean, is he our highest paid player right now? <laughs> he honestly might be our highest paid player, which is just crazy. Uh, so, no, he is not. He actually, he will be next year, which is just insane. So let's see who wins the 2010 NBA Finals. This was, I believe, the Lakers who beat the Celtics in real life. And it is going to be the Magic winning it all. I'm guessing Dwight Howard is your Finals MVP. Yeah, 23 points, 13 rebounds, three and a half blocks per game. They beat the Grizzlies in seven. So the grid and grind made it. They had OJ Mayo, uh, Mike Conley, Rudy Gay, Zach Randolph, Marcus Saul, Ronnie Brewer. Wow, okay. So the Magic ended up winning in seven. Maybe LeBron leaves. I don't think we're going to go out and sign LeBron. I mean, it would be cool and all, but I mean, this isn't going to be like a realistic rebuild, but I don't know if I'm going to go out and get LeBron as Greg Popovich just retired. Grant Hill, 
Uh, gets his jersey retired by the uh, Pistons. He does not head to, uh, he doesn't head to the Hall of Fame. All right, so this is pretty big for us. Draft lottery. Let's see. Can we get lucky? 2K, give me some luck. Can we go from six into the top five? Let's see. So yeah, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, they're all going to be free agents. So the Knicks at seven. Watch this be us. No, it is the Knicks. Okay, so are we going to be here at six? I don't know. Please don't. Oh, no, we did we jump? The Nuggets are supposed to be here. Oh, wow, I guess we jumped. Or were we supposed to be five? I forget. Uh, are we going to be here? No, so we jumped? That's crazy. Why didn't he even project us to have that pick? Maybe we were supposed to have seven and then the Knicks got it? Or I don't know, but are we going to get four? Are we going to go into the top three? We get it! Yes! I haven't been lucky in forever. So let's go. So can we jump into the top two we're supposed to get three here and we you know what we get three so we end up going from six to three i will take it who are the teams in front of us it is going to be sacramento and new orleans i'm going to be calling sacramento because i want to get john wall avery johnson's our head coach jackie vaughn's our assistant all right so i'm going to fire robert uh burn or bean whatever his name was uh louis carter as well could get fired uh Nathan Hill I won't fire because it's just really not worth it because I already know who I want to draft. I do want to see who the mock drafts have uh, going number one because maybe if it is Paul George or DeMarcus Cousins, we could stay at three. I don't know. So the mock drafts have George going one. I don't know. Now, some do have John Wall going one, 2K, and NBA.com do. So we got to trade up. All right. So Sacramento, can we trade three Chris Humphreys and let's say Chris Quinn for one? We're probably not going to work. Yeah, we might have to throw in... Uh, Terrence Williams, he's 23, though. I don't really want to give up Terrence Williams, but, you know, maybe we should trade Devin Harris, who's going to be in the last year of his deal. Yes, yeah, so can we do Chris Humphreys, Devin Harris, and three for one? No. What about if I throw in Chris Quinn? It's a lot. And what about uh, 37 as well? Okay, so the second makes it work. I don't know why that always happens, but you know what? I'll take it. We have the first overall pick. You know who I'm taking. So we take John Wall out of Kentucky. Gordon Hayward goes two, actually, to the Hornets. Cousins, three to the Kings still. That's pretty cool. Uh, George goes four. Bradley, five. Bledsoe, six. I just did a 2010 redraft the other day, if you guys want to check that out, kind of see how that went. Uh, you got Whiteside going 10. Favors, 11. Uh, Andy Vaughn in 16. Where is, like, Wesley Johnson or Evan Turner? Evan Turner goes 23. Is Wesley, he, is, he goes 30, so he's the last pick of the first round, and he was, what, the original fourth pick in real life? So we are obviously going to sign John Wall. He's going to be our franchise guy. So I'm going to definitely bring back Courtney Lee. Yee Yalen, did he play it all this year for us? No, but we could definitely give him some playing time next year. But yeah, 2010 free agency, LeBron free agent, Wade free agent, Corey McKinney, no. Uh, I'm just kidding, but yeah, there'll be some good free agents here, and we need to, we need to spend some money, so... Chris Bosh would be actually like a really fun pickup. Uh, he's got zero offers as well. I'm like, real life, what, the Mets got Joe Johnson or Joe Johnson went to the Hawks. Yeah, I, I guess he signed an extension with the Hawks because I think he was traded to the Nets in 2012. So I do like the idea of pairing up Chris Bosh with Brooke Lopez. So I think that is going to be our big free agency signing, Chris Bosh here. 24 mil, I did put it on the cap, the salary cap being, I think, 94 mil with a zero inflation rate. So let's give Chris Bosh a four-year deal and we'll still have 47 mil. So under contract right now, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five guys I'm willing to play. So Chris Bosh could be six. I think we will get him. Nice. Uh, let's see. Where's LeBron going? He's going to go to Memphis. <laughs> or is he going to go back to Cleveland? We'll see. Golden State, LA. Dwayne Wade going to go back to the Heat. Amari Stoudemire probably going to get... That would be cool if he went to the Knicks like he did in real life, but I'm sure Phoenix will match anything. All right. So I could definitely use like another small forward. Corey Maggetti, 31. Trevor Reese is 25. He, he could be a good option. I'm looking for kind of the younger guys. Uh, you know what? We'll give Trevor Ariza a three-year deal. We can always trade him if we want to. So I'm going to give him a three-year deal. And then let's give let's get a shooting guard on the team. Maybe Wesley Matthews, Kyle Korver, but he's 30. Uh, Devontae West. I'm going to go after Leandro Barbosa. I'm going to give him a two-year deal. So do we get all three? We do. So we get Chris Bosh. We bring him to New Jersey. Trevor Ariza, Leandro Barbosa, welcome to the team. Uh, we'll reannounce the rights on these guys. Sure, but not CDR or Jarvis Hayes. How old is Hayes? He's 30. He actually wasn't horrible uh, efficiency-wise for us. So Paul Pierce is going to stay in Boston. It looks like Joe Johnson going to go to the Hawks. Uh, stay in the Hawks or stay with the Hawks. Carlos Boozer going to go to the Bulls like he did in real life. All right, that's kind of cool. David Lee is going to leave New York, it looks like. Rudy Gay would also be an interesting person to go after, but I don't think I will. Shaq at 38, Troy Murphy, Samuel Downbear. I'm excited to see what free agency is going to look like next year. But looking at our team right now, uh, let's actually get through moratorium and then I'll look at our team. So do we have nine guys? Oh, LeBron didn't sign with the Grizzlies. Is he going to go back to Cleveland? 
No way, is he gonna join Dwayne Wade in Miami? That'd be sick. That'd be actually cool if that really happened like it did in real life, so we'll see. But we steal Chris Bosh, so uh, looking at this, uh, we have five, six, seven, eight. I could use probably a backup center here, so who could we go after? Somebody cheap, I don't need to get like an Al Jefferson. Is he gonna, is he gonna go to Charlotte? Is that where he went in real life? No, but he ended up going there, I think, later in his career. Um, maybe in 2012. Yeah, he didn't end up going there until the 2014 offseason, so never mind of that. All right, I'm going to go after a 35-year-old Big Z's at Judas Augustus, so we're going to give him a one-year deal. He'll just be our backup center this year, so yeah, I think that is going to be for me. Did LeBron end up signing Miami? Wow. Amari stays in Phoenix. Boozer goes to the Bulls. Pierce uh, stays in Boston. Joe Johnson stays in Atlanta. Al Jefferson to the Hornets. David Lee stays with New York. All right, so Shaq goes to the 76ers. AI to the Grizzlies. All right, so that is free agency, or that is the 2010 free agency. I love these historic rebuilds. So player progression, Chris Bosh. It's going to be actually a nice a nice front court between Chris Bosh and Brooke Lopez. We'll have John Wall, Ariza at the three, probably Barbosa at the two, or maybe Terrence Williams. We still have Courtney Lee. Uh, yeah, and then I wouldn't mind if we weren't like the greatest team next year so we can get a topic in the 2011 draft class, which is absolutely loaded with Kyrie, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard. So we do have three training camps. I do want to send John Wall to untapped potential. Let's send Brooke Lopez to rebounding, and let's send Chris Bosh to perimeter shooting. So the game side me, uh, Rafa Alston, James Posey, Josh Childress, um, Ace Law, geez. So here's the rotation. It's going to be John Wall at the 1, Courtney Lee at the 2, Trevor Reese at the 3, Chris Bosh at the 4, and Brooke Lopez at the 5. With a bench being Leandro Barbosa as the 6th man, Terrence Williams as the 7th man, Yi Ye Yeelin as the 8th man, and Big Z as the ninth man. Our system proficiency with Avery Johnson is 3.5 star balanced. We will stick with that. And our preseason power ranking according to NBA.com is, let's see, we are 17th. The Hornets are the one seed uh, going into the year with Chris Paul, Tony Allen, uh, new draftee, Gordon Hayward, David West, Al Jefferson. All right. So, yeah, these are actually the New Orleans Hornets, not the Charlotte Hornets. So those are still called the Charlotte Bobcats, I believe. Yeah, so they are as well. So where are we going to be projected in the mock draft? Because I want to see if we're going to have a late pick, they think. So yeah, you could see like the top four of this draft class. Absolutely loaded. Uh, and yeah, Kemba Walker, I forgot to mention him as well. So we'll see if we're bad this year. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And let's hope, I don't know, if we make the playoffs cool. If we don't, we'll get the top draft pick again. So we ended the season with a 37-45 and 45 record. And we somehow still made the 2011 playoffs with a losing record and were the 18, taking on the reigning coach of the year, Tom Thibodeau led Bulls, who have Derrick Rose, Luol Deng, Carl's Boozer. They just need to draft Jimmy Baller, but they probably won't be able to. Taj Gibson, Marta Webster, Chris <gasps> Duhon. <laughs> that is not Chris Duhon. But I think that's why you gotta download the mod. I still don't have the mod downloaded, so that's why like some of these faces won't be messed or they'll be messed up. But yeah, we somehow made the playoffs as an 8 seed, <laughs> even though we were eight games under 500. Chris Bosh averaged 21 and 10, uh, steal and a half, 1.7 blocks per game, shot 49 from the field, 20 from 370 from the line. Brooke Lopez, about 20 and 6, two and a half blocks, 59 from the field, 92 from the line. John Wall, as a rookie, 18 points, seven and a half assists, three and a half rebounds, 1.7 seals, 45 from the field, 32 from 372 from the line. Barbosa was great, 41 from three, four assists, 13 and a half points. Ariza, about 12.6 rebounds, uh, three assists, 30 from three. I did give Courtney Lee an extension because I might trade him on draft night. We'll see because I would like to move up in the draft. I mean, in a perfect world, I somehow get Kawhi Leonard, but I don't really see me getting the first pick in the draft. Jimmy Butler would be cool as well, but we'll we'll see that when that time comes. So can we beat Chicago in round one? We're probably going to get swept. We end up losing in five. And the one win we had in game three, we ended up winning 125-121 in overtime. Brooke Lopez dropped 30-9. and nine. Bosch 28-8. and eight. Wall had 13-13. and 13. Here were the playoff stats in those five games. Chris Bosch was great for us. Uh, Barbosa was a nice surprise. There is Brooke Lopez um, and John Wall. All right, so we still need to work out um, some things with this team, and we definitely need to get better. The Heat were the three seed. All right, are they going to win it all? Uh, it'll probably be Heat versus Bulls. And it's no, the Celtics beat them, and then the Bulls face the Lakers in the finals, and the Lakers win in seven, and Kobe Bryant is your finals MVP. Wow, the Heat with Dwayne Wade, LeBron James. All right, they have CDR. I mean, they're not great around those guys, but... Interesting that they couldn't make it to the conference finals. So yeah, the Lakers ended up beating the Bulls. How good is Pau Gasol? He's a 92 overall. So draft lottery, we are obviously going to be picking like 15th in this draft, something like that. Uh, probably be the first pick outside the lottery, and it is. So we have 15. The Timberwolves get number one. Thunder at two. Knicks at three. I'm going to try to move up. 
Uh, we can maybe hire a better, wow, Phil Jackson's here. Do we hire him? George Carl, uh, Tony Nelson, Doug Collins, a lot of good coaches there. We could get Luke Walden to be an assistant, but I'm actually going to sign Kenny Atkinson to be our assistant, and then maybe we can groom him to be the head coach at one point, and then we'll get uh, Eldon Stewart, the best scout out here, so let's pick them up. So it is draft night, and if I were to move the 15th pick, the 10th pick, I would even move my first round pick next year, Courtney Lee, and then anybody else I would move, um... Maybe Terrence Williams. Actually, we can't even move him. How high can this get me? Um, <laughs> no, I said that. Funny. I'm not in the smoking way, obviously. How high can we get up in the draft? Can we get to six? Can we? We can. All right. So we get pick six in this draft. Let's hope that one of these guys falls. Preferably Clay or Jimmy Butler. But we'll see what happens. And I'll see you guys at pick six. So we're on the clock here. Let's see who has gone. It's been Kyrie, Marcus Morris, Isaiah Thomas, Clay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard. So Jimmy Butler is here. And Kawhi just went, oh, I wish I didn't simulate to this pick. I wish, I don't know, that um, I, I just waited and then I would have turned it up to five. But can we maybe finesse the Raptors here? We stole Chris Bosh from them. Would they, uh, okay, this is considered, yeah, here are the Raptors. Kawhi for the for the sixth pick. Would they do this somehow, counter offer it? Oh, wow, they agreed. <laughs> oh, 2K, you're still very dumb. And when a player gets drafted, their value is just not great. But hey, we ended up getting Kawhi Leonard. That is huge for us. So yeah, Kyrie's an 84, Marcus Morris was selected second overall. If you watch my 2000 franchise in the 2011 draft, Marcus Morris was actually selected first overall by the Miami Heat. You should check out that series. It's super fun. We started in the year 2000. We're in the year 2013. It's on my second channel. We do a season, an episode. But yeah, Kawhi's going to be an 84, man. If you want to pause and see, Kemba fell all the way to 14. Damn, I wish I had more assets. I would have tried to trade up to get Kemba as my backup point guard. Um, and yeah, there's still some real NBA players getting selected here in the second round. But yeah, Kawhi's at 84. We're going to pick up the option on Terrence Williams. Chris Paul, who's a 99 overall, is going to be an unrestricted free agent, it looks like. That is huge. Oh, man. I think I might go after Brandon Roy. I mean, we can't afford Melo or Chris Paul, but Brandon Roy is somebody we could go after. He just put up a great season for Portland. And I mean, we have our point guard in John Wall. Shooting guard is up in the air. Like, I could move Terrence Williams if we were to sign somebody. Kawhi and Ariza at small forward. Power forward Chris Bosh, uh, center Brooke Lopez. So, Brandon Roy, I will give you that much and a player option. Are we your number one? Let's go. We could pick up Brandon Roy. That is huge, and we're going to be good next year. Uh, it is a pretty nice free agency class here. Chris Paul is going to go to the Pacers, it looks like, or Portland maybe. Um, Melo is going to stay in Denver, but if we can pick up Brandon Roy, that is absolutely huge. Uh, we don't have any big free agents, really, so we're going to sign Brandon Roy. We're going to renounce the rights on everybody, uh, even Yee Yeelan, who I wouldn't mind bringing back. It wasn't great for us. But yeah, we signed Brandon Roy. That is huge. We're going to have a John Wall, Brandon Roy, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Bosh, and Brooke Lopez starting five. We can contend next year in the East. Okay, I'm going to try to trade Terrence Williams and two second round picks for Taj Gibson. Uh, they would want, for Taj Gibson, it's really not worth it. Can we do three seconds in Terrence Williams for Taj Gibson? Oh, man. I mean, I guess I could give you 2025 first. All right, uh, I guess we'll do that. So yeah, take my 2025 first. We're picking up Taj Gibson, and now I'm going to sign a backup point guard. Andre Miller, but he's 35. Steve Blake, Earl Watson, Jamal Tinsley, um, Earl Boinkins. All right, we can go after Steve Blake. He's 30. Mm. Or Andre Miller. Andre Miller might not be that bad. Or do we sign somebody like different, like John Salmons, and try to trade him for a point guard? Like That could be something. But you know what? I th Devin Harris, I, no, I can't afford him, obviously. So let's go after Andre Miller on a two-year deal with the team option. And we to decide what we want to do with him next year. Do we get Andre Miller? We do to be our backup point guard. So play progression, Chris Bosh, highest rated player. Then we have Brandon Roy, Kawhi Leonard, Brooke Lopez, John Wall. It's going to be a mean, nasty starting five. And then we have Ariza, Gibson, Barbosa, and Andre Miller coming off the bench. All right, so I do want to send Kawhi Leonard here to untapped potential. We're going to send Brandon Roy to perimeter shooting. And then I'm going to also do the same with Chris Bosh. So here's going to be the starting five. Like I said, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be John Wall at the one, Brandon Roy at the two, Kawhi at the three, Chris Bosh at the four, and Brooke Lopez at the five. And the bench is going to be Trevor Ariza as the sixth man, Taj Gibson as the seventh man, Barbosa as the eighth man, and Andre Miller as the ninth man. System proficiency is going to be four star balanced. All right. Nothing is four and a half, so we'll stick with that. And our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is a video high 13th. So we'll see how we do. I think we can contend. For a championship this year with this starting five, depending on how Kawhi plays in his rookie year and how John Wall develops, but we'll see, and I'll see you guys at the end of the 2012 season. There we go. We get our first winning season of the video, and we go 56 and 26. LeBron wins his third straight MVP for the Miami Heat. Daquan Jeffries is your rookie of the year. Johnny Flynn, six man of the year in Minnesota. All right, and that is... <laughs> 
not Johnny Flynn. Um, but yeah, he's actually been pretty good in the save. Dwight Howard, your defensive player of the year. Blake Griffin, most improved. And Tom Thibodeau is your coach of the year. On the first team, you got Chris Paul and the Indiana Pacers. He's so good. Dwayne Wade, LeBron, Blake Griffin, and Dwight Howard. On the second team, you have Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose, Kevin Durant, Carmelo Anthony, and Tim Duncan. And on the third team, you have Kobe Bryant, Jameer Nelson, Josh Smith, Gerald Wallace, and Joakim Noah. But we are the two seed, and oh, if we do beat Boston, we'd have to face Miami. That is great. But Boston has 92 overall Rajon Rondo, 77 overall Ray Allen, 81 Paul Pierce, 81 Kevin Garnett. All right, and Kendrick Perkins. Yeah, this is 2012 when they started to kind of uh, not be what they were five years ago, and then they ended up getting traded to uh, Brooklyn. So we can check out the stats here. Chris Bosh was our leading scorer, about 19 points, nine rebounds, a steal, and a block and a half per game, and he also shot 35 from three. You love to see that. Brooke Lopez, 17 and a half points, 6.7 rebounds, about two blocks, 55 from the field, 29 from three, 93 from the line. Our new free agency acquisition, Brandon Roy, 16 and a half points, seven assists over a steal and block a game, and shot about 38% from three. Kawhi as a rookie, 16 points, six rebounds, five assists, 1.7 steals, and shot 46 from the field and John Wall 16 points 7.7 assists tonight about four rebounds a steal and a half and shot 45 from the field and then you can see the bench here with Ariza Barbosa Gibson and Andre Miller but I think we can make a run in this Eastern Conference round one here against the Boston Celtics we're up 2-0 and we end up winning in five in the Pacers Beat the Heat so we don't have to face LeBron and D-Wade in round two. You like to see that. Kawhi was, looks like he was our best player in round one. He shot 44 from downtown. Uh, there's Brooke Lopez, John Wall, Roy, Bosch. Okay, and what we could do here, I might give like Miller, eh, he could say it 11. We'll go like, I mean, Gibson was actually great in round one. Um, all right, we'll give Ariza like 23, and then we'll go like one more to Bosch and John Wall. All right, so uh, round two here against the Pacers. They got Chris Paul. Alec Burks, rookie Alec Burks. Uh, they have Danny Granger, Nicole Miritich. Danny Granger is very good in this save now. Um, Ronnie Turioff, Nicole, uh, uh, I already mentioned Nicole Miritich. Marcus Dickerson, uh, or Derrickson, not Dickerson. There's another play like that. That's why I thought that. Uh, Omar Sheik, Tower Hansborough, Michael Pietris, Ish Smith, Richard Solomon, and... Well, THD should not be in here. All right. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens here in round two. Can we beat the Indiana Pacers? We are up two to one. Let's just make sure we go up three to one here. Um, on the road in Indiana. Oh, are they going to tie it up two to two? No, oh, we end up losing by one. That stinks. All right. It's Chris Bosh in 2011. Wall 13 and 10. Uh, but Danny Granger dropped 34 and Chris Paul 29 and 17. So game five here in New Jersey. We need to pick up this dub here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we're down three to two. That is not good at all. Chris Paul is gonna single-handedly beat us and the Heat. Of course he is. All right, so game six here. Don't lose this game, please. All right, we're up by six with three minutes left. We're up by 10. All right, we're forcing a game seven. Chris Bosh drops 24 in game six. Wall 19 and five. All right, Chris Paul had 32 and 13, but that was not enough. Let's go here to a game seven at home in New Jersey and... Starting off amazing. Yep, we're going to be blowing them out here in Game 7. Let's freaking go. We end up winning by 37 points. John Wall drops 24-9. Kawhi 22-7-7. and 19-8 for Brooke Lopez. And we are going to be going to face who in the Conference Finals? The Both these teams are the last two reigning Eastern Conference champions. The Magic in the 2010 season and the Bulls in 2011. And we're going to be facing the Chicago Bulls, the one-seeded Bulls, who have Rose, Heinrich, Dang, Boozer, Noah, Marta Webster, Chris Duhon, Gennaro Pargo. All right, so how is the series going to go? Let's just see how game one goes. Let's see how this series is going to go. Uh, first half, pretty good. And we end up winning game one by 13 points. Chris Bosh with a double-double and three steals. Brooke Lopez, 23-6. and six. Wall, 18-10. and 10. All right, we're going on here to a game two up 1-0. Can we steal both in Chicago? That'd be great. Uh, and mm, we end up blowing it in the fourth quarter after having a great third quarter. Bosch was amazing, but we cannot beat them. That sucks. All right, game three rubber match here. Just uh, the first of probably a couple of rubber matches in the series. And we, oh man, we almost won this game. Another fourth quarter collapse by us. Oh, and we're down two to one. Come on. And watch us get blown out this game. I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. But no, reverse psychology there. We end up winning by 28 points. Wall 21 and six and seven rebounds. Triple double for Brandon Roy. And hey, another rubber match. Let's see how game five goes in Chicago. Okay. An okay first half. And come on. Can we get a fourth quarter comeback, please? 
We lose by 19 and we're down three games to two. All right, my dumbass accidentally simcast lived it, so we're gonna have to jump it at one point and then simcast it. I, I don't know who uses this. Like, it's a cool feature and all, but I feel like nobody uses this. Why can't I jump in? Can we just quit? I don't really want to simulate to the end because this could be our final season. All right, let's just back out. Game six, once again, let's try this now. All right, simcast at home in New Jersey. Maybe we're gonna lose that one and it was a good thing I backed out. All right, up by three with six minutes to go, left in the third. Okay, it's, it's a close one. I don't like this. We're up by one with five minutes to go. Up by two. Okay, up by two with 24 seconds left. Do not... Okay, up by four. We win. All right, let's go. We ended up winning 104-100. Brooke Lopez drops 30 points. And we're going to a game seven here in Chicago. Just don't get blown out, please. Don't get blown out. Great second quarter. Let's go. We're going to be beating the Bulls. And we win another game seven. We win 126-106. Chris Bosh, 31-8. 20 and 8 for Brandon Roy, 20 and 8 for Brooke Lopez, 14 and 13 for John Wall, and we are in the finals. So this is going to be the final season. We're taking on the Grizzlies, who lost the finals last year. Marcus Saul hasn't been all that good in the playoffs. How is Zach Randolph been? Solid. Rudy Gay's been pretty good as well. And then they have OJ Mayo and Mike Conley. So let's see how this goes. Game one, it's going to be in New Jersey. Come on, let's just let's just control them let's dominate them and we end up winning by 23 here in game one brandon roy drops 27 points that's what i'm talking about game two here can we win both in new jersey because that would just be amazing if we do and it's looking like yeah we take a 2-0 seriously that's what i'm freaking talking about all right let's just simulate this game three here can we go up 3-0 nope all right do not let them tie it up two to two you're kidding me <laughs> oh my god game three we ended up getting blown out in the game four by 15 are you serious all right back to the simcast because simulating game is not working all right don't lose game six. Oh my god oh my god we almost had another fourth quarter collapse but we end up winning by one point in overtime brooke lopez and chris bosh with double doubles brandon roy 17 6 and 8 all right going to a game six here Whew, in memphis can we win or are we going to be going to another game seven Oh, give me a close game. I would love to hop into a close game here. All right. Now, we are going to win this game, um, it looks like. But we are up by 10 with a minute and a half left. But I want to hop in and play with this team for a little bit. All right. So, we are here in Memphis. We got John Wall. Uh, kick that to Kawhi. Out to Leandro Barbosa. Oh, I want to use Brandon Roy. Somebody I don't get to use a lot. John Wall. Uh, kick that to Kawhi. Terrible pass by me. I thought they had Carlos Boozer for a second, but that is the journeyman himself. Drew Gooden. All right, Conley, you're going to kick it to Gooden. No. Kawhi's got 29 points insane zach randolph over chris bosh that is no good and it's canner though with the rebound he makes it an eight point game all right we got to be smart here all right john wall kick that to Kawhi leonard Kawhi leonard is going to get that to go he's got 31 here in game six maybe he's going to be finals mvp i don't know who's going to be finals mvp it could be anyone yeah so Kawhi is obviously your player of the game so brandon roy has got 11.7 assists oj mayo for three that is no good roy get that rebound no zach randolph gets it and he's gonna get the layup to go so it's back to an eight point game let's see what brandon roy can do he got he has a plus in everything but playmaking which is an a minus and he's gonna get right around oj mayo with ease and it is back up to a 10 point game all right brandon roy driving he's gonna cater to chris bosh and chris bosh is going to get fouled by Darrell arthur but yeah we're picking up this uh the game six win here and winning the 2012 nba finals so the new jersey nets are your 2000 12 nba finals champions and brandon roy is your finals mvp he averaged about 20 points five rebounds five and a half assists two and a half steals and shot 55 from three and yeah that was that was a fun historic rebuild this roster was great i will leave a link to thunder shocks twitter in the description below this was a super fun team to build so yeah that is gonna be for me i hope you guys enjoyed drop a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying these historic rebuilds and let me know in the comments any other teams we should do next i know a lot of people suggested maybe doing the isaiah thomas celtics teams i think that'd be a really fun one to do but yeah let me know try to do ones kind of within like the year 2008 and 2020 and give me some bad teams to rebuild the 2015 Knicks, the 2012 bobcats the 2015 Timberwolves. There's a bunch of bad teams we could do. So yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.